Hey Harry, have you got those green every flavour? The password for the portrait is Wanglewort. Wanglewort. Well done, young man. You've got the password. At least in here you'll be safe. Come to sample the rare delights of the upper castle, eh? Just watch out for Filch and his cat, Mrs. Norris. Anyway, we'll trade the portrait password for, oh, say, red every flavour beans? Chilli powder flavour. Hot as blazes. Join us, Harry. We're about to start the Transfiguration lesson. Transfiguration is the most complex and dangerous magic you'll learn at Hogwarts. Anyone messing around in my class will leave and not come back. You have been warned. 
Watch my wand move around the screen and press the symbol button it points to. Complete each sequence three times to learn the transfiguration spell, Avifors. Get ready. Keep trying. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Good. Now try and keep up. Not good. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Very well, let's keep going. That was good. Excellent. Perfect. Well done, class. Now let's put the spell into practice. Harry Potter, follow me, please. Welcome, Harry. First, use your wand to cast a transfiguration spell on the statue. Now, hit your symbol button at the right time in order to transfigure the statue into its new shape. Let's see if you can transform this statue, and perhaps you'll find a way to reach the doorway at the top of the room. Oh, Avifors! Well done, Mr. Potter. Five points to Gryffindor. Now use the floating table to leave the glass. Meanwhile, the House Point hourglasses are slowly filling up. Ravenclaw. Hufflepuff. Slytherin. Gryffindor. Slytherin are in the lead on house points. The race for the house cup is heating up. If you beat me to the end, I might give it back. Or I might not. Let's just see, shall we? Off we go, then. Avi 
G4s! We start here. You must run across the roof beams. I've covered some of them in slippery flobber mucus just for you, Potter. If you get to the end before me, you win! Off we go, Potty Potter. Dear little Potter, can't keep up with little peas, eh? Little legs not fast enough. This is fun! Let's go another round!
What a cheat! Not fair! Peeve wasn't ready! Here, Peeve doesn't want your silly parcel. Take it back! Your father left this invisibility cloak in my possession before he died. It is time it was returned to you. Use it well. To activate this cloak, pick up the invisibility tokens. They will only work for a short time, so be careful. Thank you. 
Well now, students aren't allowed in here, are they? There are things in the Forbidden Corridor that are not for the eyes of mere boys like you. No, no indeed. Dumbledore has ordered that no students are to enter this corridor. And don't go trying a secret passage. Mrs. Norris and I know them all. Now be off with you before I have you expelled for wasting our time! Mr. Filch, what is it? Uh, Professor Snape, you said to alert you if I heard anyone sneaking around in the Forbidden Corridor. Well, Mrs. Norris and I suspect that one of the students may be trying to sneak past us. I see. That's very interesting, Mr. Filch. And I have an idea who it might be. But we have ways of dealing with interlopers. You have my permission to use the harshest measures necessary. There is something very special in the Forbidden Corridor that I've had my eye on for some time. We can't let anyone interfere with my plans, can we, Mr. Filch? No, indeed, Professor Snipe. Mrs. Norris and I will be extra vigilant watching out for intruders. See that you do, Mr. Filch. I have something special planned for anyone who tries to defy me.
Intruder! 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 Ha! <laughs> 
Reflected in the mirror of Erised were Harry's parents, James and Lily Potter. Harry stared hungrily back as though hoping to fall right through the glass and reach them. He was startled when a voice sounded behind him. Harry turned slowly about. So you, like hundreds before you, have discovered the delights of the mirror of Erised, said Professor Dumbledore. He went on to explain that the mirror showed nothing more or nothing less than the deepest, most desperate desire of our hearts, but that it would give neither knowledge nor truth. The mirror of Erised will be moved to a new home shortly, Dumbledore went on, adding ominously that if Harry ever came across it again, he would be prepared. But prepared for what, thought Harry. A huge troll is on the rampage! It's cornered Hermione in the girls' bathroom! She needs our help! We must try to rescue her straight away! Come on, Harry! We have to get moving! You distract the troll and I'll find Hermione.
Are you all right, Hermione? <laughs> Harry, I'll try to charm the Trolls Club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to keep those toilets from hitting us. Are you all right, Hermione? <laughs> Harry, I'll try to charm the Trolls Club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to keep those toilets... <laughs> Are you all right, Hermione? <laughs> Harry, I'll try to charm the Trolls Club so it bashes him on the head. You shall not back. Are you all right, Hermione? <laughs> Harry, I'll try to charm the Trolls Club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to keep the... Are you all right, Hermione? <laughs> Harry, I'll try to charm the Trolls Club so it bashes him on the head. Use your knockback jeans to... Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Mr. Potter, Hogwarts' second Quidditch match of the year is about to begin. Gryffindor will be competing against the redoubtable talents of the Ravenclaw team. I realize this comes on short notice, but you're the best seeker we've had for ages. We're all waiting for you at the Quidditch pitch, so come at once. Deputy Headmistress McGonagall. Getting ready for Quidditch, are you? It's going to be an exciting game. Ravenclaw is a fine team. Hagrid, what do you know about the third floor? You mean Fluffy? Fluffy? Yeah, I bought him off a Greek chap I met in the pub last year. I lent him a Dumbledore to guard the, uh... Guard the what? Don't ask me any more. That's top secret, that is. You forget that dog and what he's guarding. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Who's Nicholas Flamel? Never you mind, I'm off. You better get going, Harry. The Quidditch match is about to start. Welcome to Quidditch! I'm your commentator, Lee Jordan! The Quidditch pitch has three goals at each end. The chasers throw the couple and try to put it through the hoops to score. Watch out for the bludgers. These are charm balls that can knock you off your broomstick. Two beaters of each team try to keep them away. Harry Potter is once again Gryffindor's team seeker. In the last match against Hufflepuff, he caught the snitch to win the game. Remember, when the snitch appears, it releases speed rings that will help the seeker fly faster. Potter! A glint of gold! Is that the snitch? Potter's seen the snitch! Yeah! Potter's moving in for the kill! Amazing skill! Potter is so close! Oh, that was close! Look at Potter go! Potter is so close! Here comes the Ravenclaw Seeker! I've got some bad news, Harry. Norbert isn't doing too well. He's very sick. We need to make him some special dragon tonic to pep him up again. The tonic needs some very rare components, though, when there aren't any in the castle. 
so you and I must go to Diagon Alley to get them. We need three peacock feathers, one eagle owl feather, and three giant purple toad warts. But we can't buy anything without money. Go to Gringotts to get some canuts, sickles, and galleons. Grip hook will see you right. I'm off to the leaky cauldron for a few butter beers if you need me. I'll meet you when you're all done. Welcome to Gringotts, Mr. Potter. To access the vault, you must collect all the forms and then hand them to the goblin outside the door. The first vault is on your left as you go through these double doors. Good luck. If you wish to visit the first vault, you must complete the paperwork by collecting the appropriate forms. Move swiftly, though, or you will have to start again. Good afternoon, Mr. Potter. I'll explain how to steer the mine cart. Swing the mine cart left and right using the directional buttons. The cross button will lock the mine cart to help collect some of the more difficult canuts. Be careful, Mr. Potter. There are many obstacles in these mines. Steer clear of them if you want to hold on to your coins. There are bonus gems hidden in this mine, and only accurate control of your mine cart will reveal them. Collect as many canuts as you can to complete the level.
Dear me, you'll have to try again if you want to make... Now remember, left and right and the cross button to lock them... Now remember, left and right. 